Hello once again, welcome to 236 pounds and no more. And uh, I hope that uh, you've gotten a little something out of uh, the first episode. We're going to talk a little bit about the starting point and the finishing point as well, all covered in this uh, episode of VCAST. 236 pounds, no more. Once again, my name is John Boynton, and I want to thank you for making the commitment, coming here and checking this out. And once again, please, if you see what you like, share that with people that uh, you see on the side of the road dealing with uh, addictions such as uh, uh, overeating, maybe undereating, uh, uh, drugs, alcohol, whatever, you know. I mean, there's so many addictions out there, and I just don't want this to be of my store of 236 pounds no more because it's your story too. It's your story. And we're going to be sharing that as we go on with these episodes. But like I said in my last episode, uh, I got an exciting, exciting movie that I picked up a couple weeks ago, and it was <clears throat> it's incredible. I'm not one much for uh, religious movies, okay? And not because I'm against, you know, religion, definitely far from that. I am a definitely, you know, uh, that's a different subject. But I'm all about, all about Christianity, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. But uh, there's something left of a lack to be desired, I guess, in, in movies of these days. I mean, professionalism type, I guess, you know, and I want to be careful because I'm a movie maker too, and I know a lot of my movies are scrutinized and as well as these V-casts, but I picked up this movie because I heard a lot about it, and uh, it's a movie called Facing the Giants. <clears throat> it's actually put on by a church. It was done by a church by a guy that had a desire to be a, a filmmaker. And he liked the idea behind the movie, and I heard so much about it, and I thought, so people kept saying, John, man, you would love this movie. you got to see this movie. So I went out, I bought the movie, and I'm telling you what, it just it won't let me go, won't let me go uh, ever since I saw it. It's an awesome movie, and there's a scene in there, scene in there where there's a, there's, you know, this is a this is a defeated team, season after season after season, and they're at they're at uh, they're on the playing field, and the coach has just had a transformation. He had a transformation, realizing that they're focusing so much on football more than just life in general. And he says it's not about the game or football; it's about life. It's a life lifetime lifetime process. It's about life. It's not about football. And he ingrains this in his in his. Co tries to tries to instill this in his players, and there's a, a part where this one guy says, "Oh no, I don't want to play them this Friday. We're gonna get crushed." And and the coach says, "Oh, you're already given up. You haven't even started." He goes, "Come here." And they did this exercise called the crab crawl, crab walk, or whatever. And it's where the guy gets down on all fours, except he doesn't get down on his knees. His knees stay up as he's on his foot on all fours. One of the players gets on his back, backwards, interlocks behind him and holds on as the player carries him. And as he's doing this, he, the coach asks the guy, he goes, do you think I can, you can give me one yard? Or go, go down to the 20-yard line. And uh, the guy says, I can do it, coach, I can do it. He goes, are you going to give me your best? Are you going to give me your best? Are you going to give me your best? And he said, I'm going to give you my best, coach. He said, okay, get down. And he called the player, get on his on his back, and the player got on his back, and he blindfolded the guy. And the guy goes, "What are you doing that for?" And he goes, "Because you don't need to see where that finish line is. You just need to concentrate on giving me your best. Because you said you were going to give me your best, you better give me your best." And he goes, "I will give you my best, coach." So he gets down, and he blindfolded, and he starts going, and. The coach is going, go, go, give me your best, give me your best, feel the pain, it's your friend, give me your best. You said you're going to give me your best, give me your best. And the coach is dragging, dragging, dragging. I am, I am going to give you my best. And he's, and it's awesome. And I hope at this point, you're at the point where you're saying, i got to see that movie. i got to see that movie. And for my, for my appreciation and respect of copyrights, unfortunately, I will not show a clip here. I thought of calling them and asking them if I could, but it's it's worth it just to go out and watch it. So anyway, he's crawling, he's crawling. I'm hurting. I know you're hurting, but keep going, keep going. And it reminds me of jogs. I love to go jogging. I love to go jogging in the morning and in the afternoon and all that with my music just out there, you know, pretending I'm a superstar athlete. 
And it's not one of these drugs like Chariots of Fire, even though I love that movie. That's another time and place. But that's what I feel like of Chariots of Fire. Just, wow, just me, just running, me, and, you know, just going with me, everything, just a hand in hand in hand. And plus the fact, once again, just that exercise factor. And when I go jogging, I usually go jogging out of our subdivision, down a hill, down in the town where I live. I live in a great town of Milford. I go down around town and, you know, I feel like I'm rocky, running through Philadelphia. And by the way, yes, people have run behind me as I was jogging, jogging down there. And I'm just running and just getting all in the music and everything else, feeling great. But when I come to the point where I'm going up the hill to finish the run up to where my place where I live is, I get tired. And it's easy for me to just, whew, it's time to rest, walk up this hill. And then, of course, I'll run run like mad through the neighborhood. Look, my brother, look at me, even though they could probably care less. And especially when I'm running up the hill, you know, and I stop to walk, unless there's a car there, then I'll be jogging, and he'll go by, and then I'll stop, even though, once again, he's not, he doesn't care anything about, you know, anything anything he probably doesn't even see me but this time it was like no don't stop keep jogging keep jogging whatever you have to do to finish without stopping keep it keep it keep jogging keep jogging keep jogging and that's how this scene in this movie was is he was Keep going, keep going. And the guy said, I'm trying, coach, but I'm hurting. I, I know you are, but you said you give me your best. Okay, and I'm not going to tell you the end. You're going to have to see it for yourself because it's dynamic. I mean, I was in tears. I was, you know, and I'm just, it's awesome. It's an awesome movie. In fact, this this cracks me up. A, a review by Don Beebe, a Super Bowl champion, and a current high school coach said, when I saw Facing the Giants, I was in tears. I'm inspired. My team is inspired. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's awesome. The, 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 the point is this. The point is this. You finish the race no matter what. But before you finish it, you've got to start it. And it's all about starting it, and it's all about finishing it. Okay? And there's going to be those in-between times that you're like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Especially... When I was losing the weight from 236 pounds, I had a I hit I hit the wall. I hit the wall at 200 pounds. No more. No more was there 236 pounds, but 200 pounds and I couldn't seem to go beyond beyond the wall of 200 pounds. I couldn't seem to get over that wall. But I did. I did. And it's because I was determined after I started it. I was going to finish it, okay? I'm telling you what, folks. I am telling you what. It's all about starting, and it's all about finishing. 236 pounds, no more, thank you.